Amazon has unveiled its first fully autonomous mobile robot, which will operate among workers to lift and move packages. Although we might not realize it at first, robots are taking over our low-skilled jobs one by one. Whether it's fast food restaurants or warehouse packaging positions, these jobs are on the decline due to advanced robots that can replace human employees, often with greater efficiency than humans could ever hope to achieve. As of right now, there isn't much information out there about how many unskilled jobs have been lost to robots so far, but the number is growing exponentially every year as technology progresses in leaps and bounds. This is not a new phenomenon. Robot technology has been around for several years. The use of robots in the automotive industry and other major industries has been increasing drastically over the last 15 years or so. What is different now is that robots are being used for manufacturing things like clothes, producing artwork, and performing simple tasks in fast food restaurants. Robots can replace humans in many professions because they can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week with little to no breaks. Plus, robots do not get sick or take vacations except for maintenance. Therefore, employers need fewer workers to get their job done. Robots have the potential to take over a lot of jobs that used to be done by humans. These include things like flipping burgers, driving a truck, and even getting coffee for the customers. It's been said that robots will do nearly 50% of all the work in the US and Europe by 2030. Whether this is a good or bad thing depends on your point of view. For many people, robots doing these jobs are great because it means more time spent with family and friends. Do others worry about what happens when there aren't enough low-skilled jobs available anymore for people to make a living off of? There may be bumps in the road, but robots making jobs will only mean greater prosperity for everyone in the end. Robots can also help to bridge the gaps between those who want to work and those who don't want to. Robots could potentially fill these gaps by working in places where humans simply can't go like deep sea oil drilling or places where it's dangerous for us to go, such as nuclear power plants. They could even monitor traffic flow better than we ever could. Robots are very efficient at repetitive tasks and perform them with fewer errors than humans. That doesn't mean robots will do away with all jobs that require human input though. Robots still need a lot of supervision and someone has to program them first. But for now, robots seem likely to take over the lower skilled jobs, which is a good thing since those are usually lower paying positions anyway. So why not let robots handle the grunt work while humans focus on their passions? However, this does lead to a potential issue. Robots replacing workers might lead to less income for the government. For now, there seems to be no clear answer as robotics continues to change and improve. In some countries, such as Japan, companies are already experimenting with having a mix of both automated and human workers so that jobs can continue to exist while technology is improved. With that in mind, the world of today's workforce is a lot different than the one of previous generations. Even as the world moves towards a future where robots do jobs that were traditionally reserved for humans, robots themselves are learning how to do things like walk upstairs and ride bikes. Robots are capable of completing tasks that human beings have a hard time with. And as society becomes more accustomed to them, the world will be able to explore new opportunities and advancements that it couldn't have before. With all of these improvements, we're seeing robots do jobs that were traditionally reserved for humans. Currently, though there is still some work required on the programming side, which limits what robots can do for now. The main reason why employers hire humans instead of robots is that they want a human beings to make decisions or create things. Humans are unique in that sense. Until programmers figure out how to make robotic hands as dexterous as human ones, many jobs requiring dexterity or creativity will remain off limits to robots. In conclusion, Robotics is an emerging technology that seems poised to grow exponentially in the coming years and take over many low-skilled jobs currently done by humans. With proper management, this shift should not create any major issues for society. In the meantime, robotics provides an excellent solution for certain industries that either lack a sufficient workforce or need increased productivity without increasing costs.